Hello. How are you? Happy Thursday. Please come in. Cross watchers, you are so welcome here. I see you. I see you here checking up on your Taurus. Please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button for me, won't you? Heavenly Father, bless our subscribers. Give them perfect health, perfect wealth. Keep them free from any worries, anxieties, fears. Send your angels to guard, guide, and protect them. I love them so. Taurus, mind, body, spirit. Now, Leo, full moon. Lots of changes going on. Step out of your comfort zone, please, North Node. Step out of your comfort zone. You're going to have to step into your power. I know sometimes it's easier just to stay put, just to keep on doing what you've been doing. Consider, please, that you deserve the best in life. We're going also into have faith in your dreams. Waxing crescent moon. I see someone here painting, painting. I also see someone using a musical instrument. Is it uh, a recorder? It looks old fashioned, like an old fashioned instrument. Please connect with your creative genius. Don't be as busy as you have been. Let me draw another card for you, please. I know you're so busy taking care of everyone, right? Making sure everyone feels good, making sure everyone else is doing well. Yes, I feel I got you right here. I am the loving energy of the universe. I am the loving energy of the universe. So use that high energy, that love focus to highlight you. To highlight things about you. I'm going to read for Taurus, but I need to gather some energy cards. Help frame our reading. Thank you. One more time. Happy. Happy to. This is our old-fashioned purple deck. Body spirit. Thank you. Come through energy of three of wands fire energy and in the two of wands you've sent out your message in the bottle you've sent out your energy and now in three of wands you are waiting for that come to come in you're waiting for your ship to come in carrying your soulmate carrying your ideas back to you and okay five of swords there's some tension here. Tension. As you're waiting for your ships to come in, there is someone who is giving you a bit of pushback, some tension. Let's find out more about that. The Empress. Okay. One more card. Hanged men. Seeing things from a different perspective. One more, I'm sorry. Yes, and we have the Queen of Cups. Emotional security, calm, intuitive balance so let's take a look right waiting for the ship to come in but someone's giving you a little pushback someone is saying why change why change why don't you keep everything the way it is but the queen the at the empress the queen of our universe the empress comes through and says look pregnant with possibilities you don't know what's around the corner you don't know what's around the corner. The Queen of Cups then is keeping us calm. Keeping us calm. Not to be... Uh, what is? What are you trying to say? Don't allow other people to stir the pot and then stand back to watch you running around in chaos. Remain calm. We have the hanged men. Letting go. Letting go by realizing from this unique perspective of being upside down oh i see i see clearly 
who has been stirring the pot, who has been winding me up. See, it's the focus the focus is on the Empress, but the mo the movement here is from the Five of Swords. <sighs> Be at peace and know that everything is going to work out perfectly in perfect timing. Don't allow someone to stir your pot. <laughs> I know, it's old-fashioned. Don't let someone to push your buttons. Maybe that... Don't allow someone... Power over you. Thank you very much. There's a card that is flipping out upside down. All of a sudden, you saw it like a miracle, the strength card coming through. Okay, so that's the universe saying, yeah, don't let someone else. Do we have any other cards like that? No. So if that happens again, you know, that's not what you see here now. We'll see it later. The strength, they're giving you strength. Don't allow someone to push your buttons. One more time. Thank you. Blessed be my body. Spirit got you. Taurus, come through. And we have Wheel of Fortune turning in your favor. It's It seems easy, right? Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. But look, even the devil is here throwing their body underneath the wheel in order for it not to move. But guess what? All you're going to get is a crushed devil because that Wheel of Fortune is going to turn. I guarantee it. Next card, Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. The two of you are coming together or emotion in motion. Someone here is feeling liberated. Yesterday we did, what was that? Yesterday or the day before, we did feel liberated of freedom, letting go, unburdened. Let's continue. Uh, Page of Wands, haven't you seen you for a moment? And a flirtatious message is coming towards you. A flirtatious message is meant to reach your ear. Let's find out more about that in a moment. In the middle of your reading, the man with the coin, king of pentacles. This is Taurian vibe all over it. So we have safety, security, being satiated, being satisfied. This is all I want. This is all I want. My dreams come true. My home, my safety. No longer being beholden to anyone else. I'm stepping into this power. Nine of Pentacles, the card of increase. Pre-Empress energy to the Empress. So it's a natural, it's a natural, what is the word? Progression. Thank you. Natural progression. And the Empress, with her beauty, says, listen, it's cool in the gang. Everything's going to work out exactly the way it's supposed to. To the devil's in the details. Someone is working overtime, working overtime. They are not new at this. This is someone who is very good at the details. And what I see is someone leaning over their work and making sure every I is dotted, every T is crossed. This person is not going to miss anything. And thank you, Ace of Swords, being able to create a solution, being able to find that loving path. At the bottom of the deck, we have ah, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful. From heaven, this is part of the security. But it's not just security of home. It's not always materialistic. I will say it's the security that what you find is your treasure, right? The treasure, gold, you put into your heart. That is the best of the best. Let's go for clarification. Thank you. I do use two decks, so that's why it's so ponderous, it's so large. We have 
clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, it is time to celebrate Three of Cups. Time to stop worrying. No more worry. No more tears. Something has ended. Something has needed to end so that something new, what can begin? Remember all the happy suns yesterday? It has to be. And this is the theme that I'm finding in Taurus. Whether this be a love connection or a connection for you to love yourself. Nine of Cups is what? Wish fulfillment. And Six of Pentacles, given fairly. Parity. Thank you for that confirmation. Equal attention and affection given to you. By who? Uh, you. Self-care. So that, yes, the happy mood. Something comes out again. Ugh. Leo energy, and if you doubt it, emotion in motion is here twice. This means the bottleneck of energy that has been happening due to some stubborn blockage of spirit has been let loose, maybe um, sliced loose from the Ace of Swords, finding that path, opening up that bottleneck, and then we have the King of Swords. <laughs> This is now going to make sense where there was once, thank you, where there once was uh, confusion, deep, deep confusion, almost as if you were walking in a fog. I'm talking, I'm talking to you, you hear me. You felt like you were walking in a fog. Am I in the dreamland? No, things are moving. Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands to the King of Swords. It's going to make sense. What's going to make sense? Your soulmate is coming here. And if it's not a soulmate, it might be you <laughs> just discovering the other part of you that you didn't know or that you squashed down. For those of you who are in love or don't know that you're going to be in love soon, this is a different story. For those of you who are stepping into your power and figuring out, you know, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not a bad person. I deserve what? Happiness in my life. It's going to be my year. It's turning into my time. Then we have a whole new world. Page of Wands. Someone has a message for you, but this message is, is like liberation. I, I see that they're looking at their wand, but it almost looks like a large key to me. And it's going to open this world. Do you see her stepping through? We have the fixed signs of Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Blessed be to the lovers. Okay, Taurus, um, some people say, why do you always have a loving lover reading? Uh, it's always about romance and love. Well, that's you. Taurus, you're, you're very romantic and, and loving. And even when there's not a person involved right now that you are speaking to, there might be someone right, what, around the corner, just waiting for you to open that door with that key. The lovers, it, it looks easy. There's um, Archangel Raphael blessing the lovers, but what's in between? A mountain. So there could be a distance gap between the two of you. There could be an age gap, a wage gap. Um, even the way the two of you think could be a little bit different, but you understand each other. Okay. So... Aquarian energy. My gosh, of the star. It's, if I say to you, you provide like a salve almost. It's like you, you provide hope. You provide a, a level of hope that it's like um, being lost in an ocean, not seeing land, and yet here comes a, a, a lifesaver. And you're like, wow, I, thank goodness, here you are. And it's that easy. It's that easy. Hopes, wishes, and dreams to the Queen of Cups on top. Emotional security, calm, compassion. And then we have the man with the coin, very generous, but also very keen to make everything comfortable, safe, 
secure. Yeah, and along with that, I'm going to provide the Ten of Cups. And see how beautiful the Ten of Cups creates like a shield. I'm, nothing's going to get through. No, no negative energy, I mean to say. Nothing negative. Any kind of slings and arrows that someone might be tossing your, your direction. Uh-uh. And then we have the beautiful Temperance card. And the path, do you see the goal, the, the path leading to the sun right here, right? Path being made by the Ace of Swords. You can even see the Ace of Swords. There's shrubbery on the top of the, like a machete, carving into this greenery so that you can reach the sun. But it is tempered. It's temperance. It's moderation. It's keeping your cool. No longer in the defensive posture. No longer in this Nine of Swords, staying up night, holding your head with worry. What's going to happen? How is this going to work out? No, no, no. Be cool in the gang. Nine of Pentacles is here. The card of increase. Uh, so the lovers can come through. <laughs> Loving cup is on their way. Knight of Cups is on their way, but you see... Uh, the horse is not even galloping. It's kind of just kind of sauntering. But look how lovingly that knight is holding the cup. Now, beautiful. Not one drop is going to spill. So let's go to our empress here, right? And it has to be a four of wands. It has to be the four of wands. Beautiful fire energy. This is the mighty fortress. The man with the coin is here. And here's our, rather the emperor. <laughs> so we have the empress, the beautiful fortress, and the emperor. It's a, it's a beautiful kingdom. It's blessed. It's the super couple, the six of wands. The community recognition of a couple meant to be. It's as if when, and again, for, for people who are going to be with their person or are with their person, or hope to be with a person. When you walk by with your person, people look at the two of you and say, they fit. This is, it, it's, I don't want to say other people are jealous of you, but it's going to be, I, I long for what they have. I long for what they have. Now, if the other people who say that realize how much pain you've had to, the, both of you have had to go through, to get to this point, would they be willing to go through what you've had to go through? All of the work, so all of your soulmates, oh, two of cups, so that two of you can meet and be together. And a lot of intuition between you, and then of course the ace of cups. The high priestess, it's almost like she's guarding some secrets here, right? She's, she's holding the tarot. Uh, the Torah. I'm so sorry. She's holding the Torah. So she knows things. And you will too, as these secrets are going to be, um, what do you say, brought, you know, brought before you. But it's not going to be before it's time. Oh, gosh, you guys. Ace of Cups overflowing. This beautiful chalice full of love, so much emotion. Let's go into yeah, and then it was six of cups. It had to be six of cups. When you look at it, they're almost touching noses. You see an X here. This could be someone who um, feels left out, almost X'd out, but they're going to realize that their luck is changing. They almost luxuriate in this. They almost luxuriate in this feeling. Remember here, the our luck, wheel of fortune, and it's worth anticipating. Let's continue. And then, yeah, you go. Three of wands, two of wands. And their backs are turned to each other, right? So one's sending out, I'm sending out an SOS. I've got the world to hand to you, the world right here. 
And the other person is, I've sent out my ships. I'm waiting for them, that my ships to bring you to me. And if you doubt it, I'm waiting. And then again, Ten of Pentacles. Luxuriate in the sun, bask in the warmth of the Leo. The Empress is here to tell you, let down these burdens because you are the power couple. It doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't get much better than that. Hierophant. Mortorian energy. Mortorian energy. Can you see all this? Make sure. So this brings in the traditional ideas of this connection. Although someone is really quite edgy, they are tra a traditionalist. They're the, they're the kind that's going to drop on their knee and hand you a ring. Even though they are... <laughs> They seem very um, edgy. I keep on saying edgy, new, new-ish. They they are a trendsetter, and yet they love the traditional aspects of home, hearth, and being by your side. You guys, it's it's a lot. I don't know. For those of you who have to dip, I understand. For those who want to stay. I want to just bring out a couple cards, some messages for you. I can move this just to the side. Messages for Taurus, please. Please help us understand. Thank you. What will, what will you say? Past life love, your soul remembers this intense connection. I want to just hand this to you through the computer. Trust and believe, six of cups. Marriage, this relationship is moving toward a sacred union. That's our higher font right here. I'll take one more, please. New love, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. Put this right here by the lovers. That's all I have to tell you. That's all I have to say. I tell you what, though. I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Okay, bye-bye.